You know what I'm starting to realize? This season two of Mahoka, the main girl isn't Lena. It's not Miyuki. It's not Erika or Mizuki, even though Mizuki is getting a little bit more spotlight. No, it's Honoka. Honoka is the main girl. Okay, maybe not main girl, but goddamn, the amount of spotlight that's putting placed on Honoka right now is insane. What a care. This character I thought was like a random side character that didn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, was only there for the funny Onisama moments, calling her, you know, bo like big brother, even though obviously it's not the case. This girl is so important that Kudo, the patriarch, is actually saying. Shit. Like she's one of the eight something like one of the eight families that's really important for whatever I'm not really sure there's some power that she has that's working in tandem with pixie right looks like her consciousness somehow like transferred into pixie I don't really know we left out of a cliffhanger that we're getting attacked and I think Honoka might just popped up also Fujibaya she's granddaughter I didn't even know let's begin today's reaction though right See, 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 he's giving more credits. His psychokinesis, I don't know, telepathy, I don't know, psychic powers from a robot, okay? Not possible, unless you have Honoka. Yeah, the parasite. But they call it a demon, whatever. It's a parasite plus Honoka's powers. Oh, is she defending herself there? Like, she's on her... She's on guard with grandfather around. Look how much he approves of Honoka. Had <laughs> a zip tie? Into the head. They work well. Hmm. Honoka's passed out. But I think she was really important there. Erika. Nah, we didn't need you guys. We didn't need backup. You know why? Because we had Honoka and Pixie. Okay, Leo's out of rehab. Make Leo carry them. Wait, what are you, what are you, what are you just making Leo do it? <laughs> Leo gets pushed around by Ed, uh, Erika like that. What? What about Honoka? Her tights, they're all cut up. What about it? Are you saying it would look kind of sus with that? Okay, okay. A little bit of Honoka Pixie fan service. Honoka, you did such a good job. Oh, Onisama's gaze. Onisama gazing upon Honoka and Pixie. Does she know what happened? You popped off, but you don't even know you popped off. Mm. What was that? It's like, it's like transfer, only someone's gift. The Honoka can act as a battery for Pixie. No? Expand the activation sequence. Priming? Well, it's still just kind of acting as support, right? You're providing some kind of input of Scions into Pixie so Pixie can attack. Hmm? What? Yeah, does it have to be the hair ornaments? Is, is it? It's, it's that material specifically? This is just luck coincidence that only someone's gift happens to be the right material to transfer power? Like what? It's doing it again. Look, look, look. I don't know. Yeah, they're great. No, you're not gonna lose. That's what she's thinking about right now. That's what she's worried about the most. Oh my god. She's so precious. She is actually way too precious. Honoka rising in the ranking of girls that I enjoy from the show a lot. She's climbing hard. Nothing. The job that you police should be doing, actually. Then again, if you just saw a random high school student with a sword on her in back like that, it's a little sus, right? We're doing your job, you piece of shit. You cops don't do anything. You're a waste of taxpayer money. Oh? Who are you? What? Yo, show me your badge number, officer. Erika being so cheeky. 
And again, her brother is probably important to cops. Wait, are they actually pretending to be cops or are we gaslighting them? Etika's just gaslighting them, right? No, 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 this is 100% gaslighting. Ooh. Nice lie. Yeah, actual police officers to do their jobs. She's really good at improvising, yeah. Wait, wait, what? Who the what? When? Oh. Deflected. Augmented humans, right? Huh? Chakra? Wait, what? Yeah, they make them? What? What is like a net? Like a net cannon? Where did they all come from? Spirit magic OP. It can just do everything. Oh! Oh! Okay, he's already. Okay, I thought he was shooting down at the other guy. That's already been hit by the lightning. He's got like full body armor. Leo's holding up though. Erika? With these useless cops? So they were fake cops. I see, I see. So it wasn't gaslighting. Okay, okay. I really thought she was just gaslighting. It was supposed to be like a funny moment. Uh oh. What? What is it? Wait, something from the sky dropped. Miki Hiko kind of hard, hard carrying right now. He is. Wait, <laughs> wait, it's like an invisible blimp. That's like a crane game. It's just fucking retrieving the parasite. That accuracy is insane. You know, the crane game, you try to pick up plushies and stuff like that. That range, that's insane. True, we could get, you know, you know what happened this September. What? This is all gotta be, uh, what's their name? This is the parasite. Scene. Is this USNA? Did they just want parasite information? I, I'm not sure who these people are actually. February 17th? Hey, that's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like in a military meeting where the, um, the commander is giving the lecture to the people that messed up. I'm sorry, Onisama. There was like an invisible blimp with the crane hand. It's crazy. No, we have a good excuse though. Yeah, like a crane game. They just swooped it. No, you had to see it. It's ridiculous. Yeah, they had like full armor. They had crazy tech. What airship was that? USNA? Great Asian Alliance? The parasites? They said samples, so it's not the parasites. The USNA. Japan ground defense. Wait, wait, wait. It's, it's from our side, Japan's side. Well, yeah. You get taxed. That's what they're spending your tax money on. A bait? Ooh. Oh, who's gonna be the bait? One of those three. Okay, it's the Gilf again. Lena and the Gilf. Not Lena, no! Okay, Yotsuma again! Yeah, so it's Japanese, you know, ground defense force. Now this looks sus. One of the, yeah, one of the stars is, you know, part of it. Miss Kuroba is just a child, but she's so cunning. Them Yotsubas are built different. Mm. And we gotta go meet uh, Mayumi's dad. He was mentioned quite a bit a couple of episodes ago. さんが知らないのに達也くんよくそんなことしているわね。お兄様のおしゃべりに。それより、どうしてパラサイトを捕まえに行くって教えてくれなかった。お、マイミスドゥナティングアゲインウォシーリンズインエンチャイスとドゥ
I want Onisan to go together. Yeah, strict family. I mean, Jumonji is already the head. I think he is. What? Saigo said, what, what, what? A spy holding facility belonging to the counter adult section that has been attacked, captured, will be killed. I couldn't read it fast enough. Whoa, we need some my butt cheeks again. They keep doing this a lot, huh? They're showing his uh, upper butt cheeks quite a lot this season. Oh my god, Miyuki, what are you wearing? Whoa. Lena! So Lena went in and tried to get the parasites because she's been tipped off by, obviously, the Kuruba, though. Did Kuruba want this to happen? Like, there's no way Kuruba would have told, you know, Miss uh, Balance if this wasn't gonna happen, right? Or did she mean to do that, actually? Maybe that was intense. She's saying it on fire. Okay. Yeah, her goal was to just go in and just, like, burn that shit up and leave. Because it has ties to the stars, maybe? Or maybe the USNA? Lena? She can do it. Boy, was that her butt cheeks there for a second? Hold up, hold up. Save her, Onisama. Save her. Yeah, she is not cold enough. Remember the fight against Onisama? That's what he told her. You don't have what it takes. Uh, uh, hello? Oh! Shizuku's date! From the USA! Oh, we can't talk to him. It's just one way. <laughs> this is Shizuku's date. I remember him. Yeah, Raymond. Wait, it, Seven Sages. We heard about this title before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, wait, wait. This is Shizuku's date, right? Shizuku, yes, yeah. Yeah. He was one of the Seven Sages? What, Miyuki? <laughs> Did you know, hold your hand. The humanists. The seven sages are causing this? Jide Seiji Heigu. Jide? Oh, this guy! We, we beat him last season, didn't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was the brother. Richard's son. Another Nem. Oh, yeah, yeah. No head dragon. Wait, everything is coming together right now. Black Elder. Okay, the head? Interesting that he is one of the seven sages, even though he is in that crime syndicate. The shoot the what the hoots the hoots the club what hoots his scalp hoots his what the fuck is a hoots his scalp what is it expansion systems global monitoring they just have vision everywhere what what it's a hacking system lurking in the system hall what what is this stuff so seven sage it's just random how it chooses you're given access? What? What are you talking about? A risk? So you gotta be very, you know, you, you gotta clear your browser history very well. Kitty ought to look so cool there. Mm. Demon right first time. So this is the actual bad person, Mr. Haig, leader of No Head Dragon, one of the seven sages. He's trying to destroy magic through social means, making all these parasites so that there's a big humanist movement. I'm kind of following the plot right now. This guy, he's actually a really good guy, even though I was a bit jealous because he's Shizuku's date. You know, he's, he's fine. Here we go, we got an informant. Mm. You know. Yeah, <laughs> the destroyer. <laughs> He was called the Okinawa Demon too, I think. Yo, oh, okay. Lure them all behind the school and take him out. Lena will be there too. Huh. Maybe we'll see more heavy metal burst. Interesting. Seven sages. I don't know how to say it. It made some good progress this episode, though. Okay, to summarize this episode, Honoka super important. Whatever material is in her, you know, earring stuff can actually kind of act like a battery or like improve the activation sequence of Pixie. They can basically fight together like that. In insane psychic abilities that shouldn't exist yet. Even the Patriarch is super impressed. We have the seven sages. They're not like a collective member. It's just like... People who have access to this hacking system known as I I I I I don't need I don't really know. But Mr. Hay, the leader of the No Head Dragons, basically behind all this movement, the whole point is to make a social movement so that people hate magicians and it creates a world where magic the world can be ruled without magic. And now this dude, uh, Raymond, I, I don't even know his name, he's gonna basically tell us stuff and we're gonna bring out all the parasites in the back to take him out. I guess we're kind of like leading up to like a boiling point. Something really insane is going to happen in the next couple episodes. I'm pretty excited. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.